to ask his business, no one dared to make a slip. The stranger there among them had a big iron on his hip, big iron on his hip. It was early in the morning when he rode into the town. You're the salt of the earth. He came riding from the Just have a funny little story to tell about when I was a kid. One of my favorites. When I was about 16 years old, I used to love to borrow the car on many occasions. And uh, I would always ask when you were watching the hockey game. And I would say, uh, Dad, could I have the car? You'd reach in your pocket, give me the keys. I'd say, oh, I need a bit of money for gas. You'd reach in your wallet, give me some money, maybe 10 bucks. And off I'd go. And at the end of the game, you'd say to Mom, oh, where's Wendy? Anyway, I was a lucky girl growing up with Mom and Dad. And I had wonderful family and friends around me. And I love you, Dad. And I'm so happy that we're here to help celebrate your birthday. Summer of 1981, I started farming with my dad. He had purchased a new to him 4630 John Deere about that time, which he claimed was quieter and more comfortable than his Buick Electra. The Deere was a great tractor. We just parted with it this past spring. We seated by ourselves using only one tractor. And Dad did most of the field work <clears throat> as I didn't want to push Dad off the tractor as he was still in pretty good shape and bear in mind in his late 50s. But I believe he enjoyed the freedom of things and having me help out and you know I'd go out and work in the evenings sometimes and anyway it, it was a great relationship. I don't think Dad and I ever raised their voices to each other. I loved hauling grain to the elevator and stuff, even if it involved shoveling sometimes. It wasn't the most fun, but anyway, got her done. Mom and Dad enjoyed lots of winters down going down to Arizona with Charles and Ann Heisey. Uh, they spent lots of time in Venture Out, which they enjoyed immensely. One year, I think it was in 82, we, uh, we used to harvest with Roy Scribner, one of our neighbors, and used his tractor, or pardon me, his combine for harvest. Well, his combine blew up on our field, just as our luck would go. And the crop probably could have been done a week or two earlier. Anyway, Dad said, well, why don't we run into Jackson's and see what they've got available. The Jackson's is a Massey dealership. So we ran in there, and Earl Jackson, who's quite a character, was there. Earl, what do you want for that old white 5542 combine you got out there? And Dad says, how much you want for that old coffee grinder? <laughs> Earl grabs a key. I think it's 6,500 bucks, Walt. And he turns the key and it takes right off. 10-5, he hollers over the roar of the combine. We had quite a chuckle about that. Anyway, we rented it. Took off over 300 acres with that old 55-42. Had a breakdown. Fixed it quickly. Returned it to Jackson's. And Dad says, what do we owe you? Merle says, no, you don't owe me nothing. I said, wow, no wonder Dad liked dealing there. Anyway, we ended up buying a 750. Massey combine from him eventually and uh, used it for many years. And in fact, the last time Dad ran it was the year he had a stroke when he was 86 years old. I got him up there to do the last 80 acres and he got her done. Anyway, we rented the land out to uh, Derek and Ron Smith about four years ago. So, anyway, that part of our life's history, I guess. Anyway. What? I did remember back when Walt had had his stroke and Rick was a little bit worried about Walt climbing up on the combine for harvest that year. So being the good daughter-in-law, I offered to fill in for him. I mean, how hard could that be, right? Well, I was in for a bit of a shock. Walt was sitting next to me and I'm trying to remember, lever, clutch, gear, lift the header, drop the header, turn, turn at the corner, lift the header, drop, lever, clutch, everything. It was becoming confusing. I'm sure Walt wished that he could have just showed me the door and finished the field by himself. But because he was sitting by the door, in his infinite patience, Walt put up with me until we got done the field. Even Rick came out of there and said, I've never seen somebody do a wheelie with a combine. I was so talented. I'm so happy to be here celebrating with you. It's just really awesome. I reflect back on my entire life and you taught us so many things, um, including firstly, the importance of family. No matter where we lived, whether it be St. Margaret's, New Bru St. Margaret's or New Brunswick or Calgary, Alberta, 
or North Bay, Ontario, or yeah, Lower West Germany, Jackson, or then back to uh, Kingston and Ottawa, Jackson, and then Winnipeg. Down. You and Grandma always made the time and found a way, despite Grandma's fear of flying, to come and visit with us. And not only did you come to visit us to see the sights and um, have lots of fun and generate lots of memories, but you also came to visit us to um, teach us some really valuable things. We learned how to play the importance of family time, the importance of spending time together, the importance of holidays, the importance of spending meal time together, uh, that this generation sometimes doesn't even value the importance of anymore, um, the importance of um, sitting down and playing games. May I, we still love May I to this day. Or Milliborn uh, that we've played in all the different games. Uh, cribbage, all the card games that, that I learned um, from you guys and then that mum passed on as well. Um, you also taught us a lot about a work ethic. How important it was to work really hard, um, but not work so hard that you miss out on your uh, spending time with your family and so balancing that was really important that you a lesson that you taught us another really important lesson was um, to plan for retirement it was so inspiring for me to see you and grandma spending all that time in Arizona every single winter for many many years and you're only able to do that because you planned for it you set investments aside to plan so that you could enjoy that part of your life together that's really incredibly inspiring uh, for me. Um, I will forever um, cherish all of the memories that we have. Lots of laughs that we've had. Um, I know all of Grandpa's, um, uh, your quirks, Grandpa, intercuting your, um, your sweet tooth. I know anytime you wanted candies, you always had lots of candies. Um, I know that you have a love and a zest for baseball, a love and a zest for the LA Dodgers, um, for sports, uh, hearing you hollering uh, on the TV and holding those referees accountable. Uh, I, I just love it and I have the most amazing memories uh, growing up and spending the time that we have uh, with you and Grandma and everybody else. So thank you for everything that you've done for our family. I'm incredibly inspired by you. I'm so proud to be your granddaughter and I'm incredibly proud for you to be my grandfather. Hey Grandpa, it's your favorite grandson, Scott. I'm uh, just joking, you're far too fair and honorable to have a favorite grandson. Everybody always feels like they're um, equal and uh, loved around you. Anyway, this is a message. It's hard for me to, to just talk about you since I always associate Grandma and Grandpa uh, both being great people that uh, we love and uh, are just you know, salt of the earth, as we say. But uh, as I reflect, and I've uh, been a, uh, you know, we all talked about putting together this video and um, just recognize that uh, you are uh, my idol in many ways. Uh, you know, we, I think all of, all of us grandchildren and certainly your children um, you know, glean so much from your uh, wisdom, your uh, ability to be fair, uh, honorable, and uh, humble, and, uh, and, and open, and many, uh, many of the um, attributes that we all aspire to that you have um, you know the memories I have growing up I'm mean, certainly you were uh, you know so wonderful because we we uh, we had the opportunity to travel um, you know due to you and grand grandma's generosity you know whether that was our trip to, to Niagara Falls when we were, when we were kids um, or your visits to Europe um, when we lived there and certainly uh, other trips, uh, Fairmont Hot Springs, um, you know, uh, all these wonderful trips. And, uh, you know, I have such wonderful, fond memories and uh, of, of you. Uh, hopefully, I inherited some of your looks. You're, you, you were always such a dapper, handsome man, too, um, and uh, still are to this day. Anyway, Grandpa, this is uh, just my short little video to you. Just to say, I always appreciate all the lessons that you, you gave us, and all the uh, you know all the, the the attributes that you have 
you know, that we all try to aspire to, to be, you know, even half the man that you are. So, I love you, Grandpa. Hello from London. I just wanted to say that uh, I really miss you a lot, and I love you, and I think about you all the time, and uh, I don't really have one individual memory that stands out for me because you've always just been so uh, consistent in my life and such a, 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 a positive influence on me. Um, you're so kind and big-hearted and, and uh, uh, patient. Um, and I even love watching sports with you, frankly. I know that, uh, I know that other people, uh, well, namely my mom and grandma, <laughs> don't don't like it as much but uh, that's always been fun for me I loved how you've always traveled to come see my family wherever we are um, which I guess leads to that consistency in life and I just hope that you're having a you have a good day and know that um, people very far away and all over the world are thinking about you a lot love you hey guys Dean here just a few quick thoughts on grandpa's big 95th milestone birthday I don't know if he'd still be here if it wasn't for Grandma, so obviously I don't want to forget about her. Um, we're so lucky that we still have four grandparents and that we can still spend so much time with them and bring the kids up for visits and hit happy hours on the Fridays when it works out and catch up on their lives and then they can find out what's going on with us and it's fun to see them light up when they, when they all come in the door. And um, yeah, we, I think one of my fondest memories of with Grandpa was uh, riding on the combine in the tractor eating all of Grandma's delicious cookies out of his lunchbox. Um, it was <laughs> great times and yeah, some of the best memories I have with him and I'm sure he cursed me a little bit, but that's probably the real reason that he's still so skinny today. So you're welcome, Grandpa. <laughs> Happy 95th birthday, Grandpa. Thanks for teaching me everything you know about pool. Let's have a beer. Happy 95th birthday, Grandpa. I'm so excited that you're going to be surrounded by amazing friends and family today and every day. And Matt and I wish that we could be there to celebrate with you, um, but we're here on Lake Superior and, uh, and we're just sending all of our love from here. We do promise that we're going to be there for your 100th birthday party. I'm pretty sure that you promised me that we would go skydiving. So. Anyways, I just want to thank you for being such a huge part of my life and being there for me since day one. I have so many fond memories of being with you on the farm and out golfing, road trips to Winnipeg and just all the fun things we got to do together. I'm just so blessed that I got to have you close to me in my life and, and cheering for me up in the baseball stands and the hockey stands. It really meant the world to me. So I just want to send you all my love today and uh, and just glad that you're celebrating with all these amazing people so we'll see you again soon and I hope you have a wonderful day. My grandpa Becker is a wonderful man. He's the kind of man who shows other people how to be a good person. He exemplifies what it means to be hardworking, dedicated to your family, loving and kind. He is a role model to so many people I love and cherish in my life and has showed them how to be a good dad, how to be a good grandpa, how to be a great, good great grandpa. Uh, and I'm so lucky to know my grandpa Becker. Happy 95th birthday. Uh, I, we're so lucky that you've been on this earth for so long and been blessed by your presence um, because you're such a wonderful person. We're all so lucky to know you. and to be able to get a chance to uh, stand next to someone that exudes so much light and such a good presence in this world. Happy 95th birthday, Grandpa. I hope you have an amazing birthday and I wish I could have been there to celebrate it with you. I love you lots and I hope to see you soon. Well, I'm not there, unfortunately, due to work commitments. Um, I really wish, obviously, if I could be there, I would definitely be there. But I'm there in spirit. I just want to say I wish you the happiest of birthdays. Um, so lovely um, to have reached this milestone. And uh, I just wish you the happiest of days because of anyone I know, you definitely deserve it the most. You're such a wonderful influence in all of our lives. Such a stable person, a real salt of the earth person, someone that I aspire to be like. And um, you've had such a big effect on all of our lives being such a great grandpa and such a great dad and my dad always says you're such a wonderful influence on his life so that 
and he's a great dad too so I just have to thank you for that stable chain reaction you've helped in all of our family and I just want to say you're such a wonderful person and you just have the happiest of days and I love you to the moon and back. Happy 95th birthday, Grandpa. I wish I was there. Love you lots. Party it up. <laughs> I met Walt, I guess I'll say. I met Walt at a dance in Clinton. Yeah, and he he was uh, dancing with a guy. Oh, what's this? So then at the end of that dance, he came over and asked me to dance, and I thought, oh, I can't dance with him. <laughs> boy, boy, oh boy, can he dance. <laughs> we flew around there. Yeah, so we'll wish him a happy, happy birthday. <laughs> and we're not getting any younger, so we got to take, take care and keep things going. Happy birthday, Dad. Happy birthday, Papa. Happy birthday, Walt, and may your Leafs win the cup this year for your birthday present. Uh, happy 95th. Happy birthday, Grandpa. Happy birthday to you.